<laughs> it's like you're soaking your feet in great Kool-Aid over here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, trust me, the floor and the carpet. Now we know exactly what we're dealing with, right? Yes. So we had uh, <clears throat> the yeast infection from your nails that look like it's spread between the toes, cause a secondary bacterial infection. Which you got cellulitis in your foot. Went to the how, how long were you in the hospital? Um, about two weeks. Two weeks? Okay. And they treated you with uh, IV antibiotics? Yes. Okay. And then they gave you an oral antibiotic and made you break out in your yes. hands. Yes. Okay. Is it your nails that hurt or between your toes? The, uh, the, the nails, that one do hurt. Okay. I don't want to have to be too aggressive on that one. But, you know, I mm. want to get through anything to get this, this over with. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm. So they recommended this purple stuff. It's called gentian violet. And it's basically to help dry things out. And, sorry about that. Wouldn't go really too far. Yeah. yeah. It helps to, the gentian violet helps to dry out the skin. And it also has some antibacterial property to it. Okay. But, you know, you, you use a lot of it clearly. Were you able to wash it all off at home or you just couldn't get it all off? I couldn't get it all off. Okay. And um, this, the toe you work, the foot you're working on now mm -hmm. was like the worst. Gotcha. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't dry. I had a um, air dryer mm -hmm. and a fan. Wow. Yeah. And I was, I was willing to do whatever it took to get mm -hmm. this stuff dry. All right, so I'm working on this scaly skin here. You know, it looks like the GV did its job. It's just definitely yes. suited its purpose. But, you know. A little bit too much. A little, a little bit too much. Because if it's drying your skin out this much, and then it's getting all over your floor, all over your clothes, all yeah. over the bedding. Wife having a... <laughs> wife, wife done with it. Oh, yeah, she having a fit, but... <laughs> Look at my carpet. <laughs> she went ahead to get this cleaned up. So now I gotta clean the carpet and Yeah. Yeah, I do I, we used to recommend it. Well you back in the day this was prescription. Tension vital was prescribed. But now it's over the counter. You bought it online, right? Um no, I went to um downtown. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the only place I can find it. Okay. Well, now you see why I had you soak for a little bit, or a lot of it in this case. Yeah, and then she had me use um, lamb pool. Mm hmm. That kind of helped too to put between my toes. Okay. Just keep them spaced out. Yeah. They're so close together. There we go. So the thing about you want to get rid of this loose skin is that loose skin holds fluid. If it's holding fluid, it's holding bacteria. Okay. And there's bacteria naturally in the skin anyway. But, you know, when you have all this loose skin, it's like adding a swimming pool for the bacteria to hang out in. skin is normal underneath which is good because sometimes we're afraid of when we start working on this mm -hmm. 
Got the skin underneath to be all raw, red, and nasty, but that's not the case so far. Have you been dealing with much odor from the foot? Um, not since I put the um, ginger violin on. Okay. No. Even my door was like that, it smells a lot better. Okay. Cause then at one point it was like raw skin, mm -hmm. pretty much smelling and the wetness and the odor from it. All right. I tried to dry it as much as possible. You know, I'm, I'm changing my socks three, four times a day. Mm -hmm. That was before the use of the ginger violin. Okay. Yeah, I was taking a bag of socks with me, just about. <laughs> wow. And then I, I didn't wash them, I threw them away. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know, I'm not gonna put them in the wash machine. I thought about taking them to the laundry. Mm -hmm. the laundry back in the door, and I was like, no, this only just affecting somebody else. Yeah, there's, there's not enough bleach to get ginger violet on your side. No, so I just, you know, tossed them out. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think switching you to Castellani paint We'll do fine. And if it really looks good when I finish working on it today, we might be able to just switch you over to a powder. Okay. Yeah, my sister-in-law, she bought me some, um, Johnson, what is it? Something, um, white, hand wipe, my feet wipes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, the powder, the okay. powder. Yeah, what you want to look out for is be sure just not to use anything that contains alcohol. Mm hmm Because the alcohol, of course, will burn. So be sure, you know, read, read the package on those wipes. Now, as we, as the days and weeks go on for this, mm -hmm. the skin's going to get looser and looser. Okay. Don't pull on it. Just let it fall off. Just let it fall off or just use your rag and wash it off. Okay. What falls off, falls off, and in time it'll fall off. But if you pull on it, what could happen is that you could actually pull away some of the, the normal skin. So it's cool for me to get in the shower? Yeah. Okay. Matter of fact, I highly encourage it. Now you have so much stain in between your toes, mm -hmm. it's going to take some time to get that out. Okay. All right, but as you can, again, being daily and being diligent, it'll go away. Because remember, skin is always replacing itself. There we go. What's good that I see here mm -hmm. is the hair on the toes. And hair on the toes yeah. is a sign that there's good blood, good so blood flow. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's the first thing she did. She sort of made sure I had a, um, So when do you go back to see your primary doctor again? Um, I can't remember exactly. Okay. It's been a while. How long is it to drive for you up here again? Well, how long does it take to drive? Yeah, to get here. Um, three hours. Three, three and a half hours. hours. Wow. I really appreciate that, man. Oh, yeah. I saw it on YouTube, I showed it to my wife, I was like, this is where I need to go. And I sent you that message, you mm -hmm. make an appointment. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, this is where I need to go. I said, my wife said, you got people coming from everywhere. Mm -hmm.
Mm -hmm. so, you know, she liked coming to DC anyway. Mm -hmm. you, know? <laughs> you see all this? I know you just got finished soaking in the in the in the tub here. Uh -huh. Let's see how it, it holds that fluid there. Yes. And that's and, and that's well, it you know kind of keeps it raw, which is why I got to take this down from time to time. Because all this, all this interferes with the normal healing process mm -hmm. as well. So pretty much as I get in the shower daily, mm -hmm. it's, it's it's just, slowly start coming off. Yeah, and just and just let the the soap and the water and just the do towel it. do the work. Okay. Don't be aggressive. Don't try to get it all at one time because you won't be able to. Yeah, it's coming along? Yeah. yeah. So you got this pocket under here? Mm-hmm. It just holds fluid, man. I don't like to see that. Now that this has all been exposed, it gives the skin a better ability to heal, better air exchange, you know? Yeah, but once I get home, mm -hmm. socks come off. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting in front of my fan, getting, I got a fan that sits on the floor. Mm -hmm. My sister-in-law brought me and I just sit in there and sit my feet in front of that fan, just get that cool air and... Mm -hmm. Circulating in there, but, oh, what, what about what about soaks? Have you been soaking it all? No. Mm -mm. Okay. So I'm going to recommend. Oh, she's telling me not to soak it. Well, now, probably then. Okay. But what's going to help also continue to dry this out is uh, Epsom salt soaks. Okay. Okay. I like Epsom salt for some things and not for others. Okay. But for something yeah. like this, where you want to continue to dry stuff out, that pulls the after, after, out of exactly. Uh -huh. As long as it's not stinging, mm -hmm. you know, a tablespoon of uh, Epsom salt in, in a basin full of warm water. Okay. Fifteen, yeah, twenty, thirty minutes max. Huh? I have one. You know, to be plugged into the walls. But but here's the thing. That's that's cool. Okay. But you know, because it's going to continue to turn it purple. So if you don't mind your thing, because it's plastic, right? And plastic stains. So it might be hard to clean. If you can clean it okay, if I'm fine, you can use that. Or just get a, okay. just a, a, a basin that you, that'll, that'll fit your foot. Yeah, because I always clean it out. If I use it and I spray mm -hmm. it down with Lysol. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking better there. Okay. That does look a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Just a little tender, but... Yeah. 
that that's the, that's to be expected. Like before, it was monster red and raw. Because mm -hmm. what we're concerned about when we see that like that is that as as it begins to heal, the raw skin from one toe we'll sti to stick. Yes, yeah, sticks to the raw skin of the second toe, and the toe and the two toes heal stuck together. That's called a syndactyly. We don't like that either. Okay. Yeah. There we go. See how that looks now? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we can still got a little bit of rawness here on the top, but that's okay. That'll take care of itself over the next few days. This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Share it with your family and friends and ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. If you have any of the issues in this video or any of my other videos, see a podiatrist as soon as possible. But most importantly, Take care of your feet.